Today we're going to talk about sleeves, which, if you're joining us from the world of board games with wooden cubes, you might not know about. A sleeve is a little plastic case that your gaming card fits inside to protect it. So, why would I want to sleeve my cards? Well, with a collectible or a living card game, these things get handled an awful lot more than any other type of game. You're constantly going to be shuffling your decks, taking cards in, putting cards out, putting them in play, all kinds of things. Do I have to sleeve all of my cards? Well, you're going to want to sleeve the cards which get used the most. These are your encounter cards, and they're going to be used every game, no matter what investigator you use. These are your player cards. These are the cards that are going to spend most of the time in your hand, being shuffled, and going to and from play. Not every investigator uses every card, so you might want to leave the cards you're not using unsleeved. These are your scenario cards, and you'll change these every game, so they're going to be handled the least. The back of the box tells you you have 110 scenario cards, 119 player cards, and 5 investigator cards. That makes 234 cards you need to sleeve. Plus the 5 mini cards. Mox recommends you buy one pack of the yellow sleeves, which are these things here. Unfortunately that pack contains 50 sleeves and you only need 5. Find yourself a buddy who plays X-Wing and just pinch 5 sleeves when they're not looking. They do fit reasonably well, there's a little space around the outside and there's plenty of room at the top to make sure that it doesn't get crumpled. You don't have to buy the official Fantasy Flight sleeves, other manufacturers are available. Just look for the mini American board game size. Starting at the cheaper end, this is what they call the penny sleeve. You see how flexible it is, it's extremely thin, but if you buy it from a reputable manufacturer such as Ultra Pro, you shouldn't have any trouble. Now we're moving on to the premium sleeve, and you can see it's a little bit thicker, there's a lot more resistance there, and a lot more definition to the edges as well. I hope you can see that the premium sleeve is also a slightly more snug fit there. There's not so much room and flappy edges around the outside. With every sleeve, you're going to want to have a little bit of room up at the top. That's where the open side is, so you're going to want a little bit of coverage there, just to make sure that things aren't scraping against the top of the card. You might want to put your player cards in the premium sleeves, but your encounter cards using the penny sleeves. One thing to note is that if you're purchasing premium sleeves from Ultra Pro, they have a little Ultra Pro hologram in the bottom corner. Just make sure that the hologram is on the back side of the card so it doesn't cover up any game text. And if you type Ultra Pro holograms into any internet forum, people go berserk! If you don't think that this level of protection is enough for you, or you're a little bit worried about the open flap at the top with the sand getting in there, then there's an extra step you can take. What you can do is put a premium sleeve inside a penny sleeve, like that. This is called double sleeving. So you put the open end in first, like that. It's an extremely snug fit, but the card is pretty much sealed all the way around. It's a very snug fit, very nice to play with. Oh, spoilers on the back there. Why would I want to do this? I don't take my cards into the shower. Well, obviously, if you're playing a two or a three player game, then maybe you should. If you're doing a game demo, if you're doing anything outside, then double sleeving can really save your cards. Double sleeving can be tricky, because if your premium sleeve is too wide for your penny sleeve, then obviously it's all going to go all wrinkly and bubbly. Take care when shopping online, because it's easy to buy a sleeve which is much too big, or a sleeve which is much too small, or a sleeve which is square. And definitely don't buy anything with an adhesive flap which you have to peel off and stick down. The size you want for your main sleeves is standard size, and the size you want for your mini investigator cards is mini American board game size. And if you've been bitten by the sleeving bug, you can always buy yourself a Ziploc bag for even more plasticky goodness. What? What's that? Why are you still here? Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Look, I've told you. See? Double sleeving. That's all you need to do. That is the last word in protection. There it is. Go away. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. This is something called a top loader. A top loader is basically a rigid case for your card like that. So once you've got your card double sleeved, you can basically pop it inside the top loader like that. Plenty of room there for maximum protection. Although you've got to worry that your cards don't fly out the end. And that's it. 
There's no more. No more after that. Nope.